Karen and Julian Mesa have been cultivating this little piece of paradise for 20 years. Filled with lush greenery and tropical plants, their garden is blooming with more than just vegetation. It also sprouts sculptures, glass carvings to be exact, many of which are as old as the oak trees. Inspired by a sculpture garden in Santa Fe, Julian began adding pieces to his Florida property years before Karen arrived on the scene. Well, I started doing create pieces for tarp for shows. Then when I came back here, I used to just lean him someplace. Instead of just leaning him anywhere, I started setting him up, you know, displaying him. And once she set foot on the soil, Karen and Julian became an artistic team, growing La Mancha glass gardens together, sprinkling in their carvings among the ferns, banana plants, and bromeliads. Today, there's around 100 pieces, and naturally, nature is a driving force behind many of their creations. The garden is a lovely, peaceful, exciting place to observe nature and take your time on, on the artwork. Wandering around, one can't help but become enamored by the environment's fragile yet powerful presence. This is a, a, a piece that shows two samurais and has a ton of detail and um, I just have to take my hat off to Julian on this one. This was one that we did not collaborate on. He took it from a very small uh, ornament that is an antique and he saw a picture of it and went, oh, this the detail in carved glass. And made it life size. This piece is actually the artwork of Audubon. It's his eagle, one of his, the eagles that he did. And it has so much detail that this, this uh, was a challenge to Julian and he took it on because of all the detail in the feathers. The glass is so clear and crisp, it really reflects her innocence. Who is this? This is my granddaughter, Kylie. She came and posed in her bathing suit so I could take mermaid pictures of her. Do you ever get concerned that a big storm is gonna come through and, and break these, these sculptures? Your life's work? Not really. It's our ability to make them. It's not a scarcity, really. You know, it's a piece of glass that we did something to and we could do it again. Now, textured glass gives a whole different feel to the pieces. It does, it, it, it obscures it just the tiniest bit, but it makes it softer. It's also a way that it can be used for complete privacy. It really enhances the peacock's feathers too. Are yeah. those peacocks? No. Okay, just <laughs> kidding. <laughs> well, it really enhances some kind of feathers. Creating a work often takes weeks, and when they collaborate, Karen draws their design, and then Julian employs a multi-step process that involves tracing, taping, carving, a Darth Vader-like helmet, but most of all, an experienced hand. Is it difficult to look at just this flat piece of glass and make it come alive? For a long time, I used to have to number it, number the lines and color in different colors. It's, it's like somebody that could that buys a watercolors, and they could they could paint. You know, anybody can paint, but you got to stick to it. It's dirty. It's hot. It's, uh, the equipment is very expensive. If you don't take care of your health, it'll kill you faster than you think. It's all dust, all glass, silica. When you think of the garden, what does it represent to you? Visual serenity. It doesn't jump at you. And glass carved is always smooth and soft. Serenity. I say serenity. Free and open to the public, Julian and Karen want everyone to experience the garden as it's more than just a place for the mesas to display their art. I think it says to people that there's more to life than the daily concerns and worries, that beauty really is an important thing in life. That's what I think it says.